<laughs> okay, anyway, so hi everybody. So here we are for your bite size belly dance live, bite size belly dance live with me, Melissa Belly Dance. So let's get started. So today I want to work on some chest isolations with you guys. We're going to do some seated isolations, we're going to do some standing isolations. Hi to everybody who's just joining. Um, yeah, cool. So, all right, so let's go. So let's get started up with a warm up. This is your weekly dose of belly dance. Bite-sized belly dance class with me. Hey. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna take our legs about a shoulder distance apart. We're gonna sink into the floor, and we're just gonna circle the hips. Okay, so circling those hips in a nice big circular motion. We're just warming up, so don't worry too much about what direction you're going in or um, if it's correct. I just want you to move your hips, make a circle with your hips. And if you can't see my feet, my feet are flat on the floor. I'm doing a big circle. I always say, imagine you've got pens on your hips pointing at the floor, and you're doing a big circle around your feet on the floor. Okay, so big circle before. So today you're gonna learn some seated stuff and some standing stuff. So if it doesn't suit anyone to sit on the floor, you can stay standing. I'm gonna stay standing to begin with. And then when I sit on the floor, if it's too much for you, you can just stay standing if it's uncomfortable. But I'll explain that when we get there, okay? All right, so change direction. So one, I just want you to like loosen up those hips and just flow in a circular motion. You're releasing your pelvis. So you want it to be nice and relaxed, make sure those knees are nice and soft. You don't want to be forcing anything. Forcing is a no-no. <laughs> just relax as much as you can into your hips, okay? So, big hip circles. And what I like to do when I do these kind of movements is add in a bit of a stretch. As well, I like to make the circle stretch me out a little bit. So we're gonna take our hands and we're gonna clasp them above our head, okay? So in case you can't see, I look like this. And I'm just gonna reach for the ceiling, reach for the sky, draw a big circle with my hips, keep my hips going in a circular motion before. So this is your mini belly dance class, okay? So I'm here to, I'm here for you to dance with me. <laughs> dance with me. Change direction. So anybody who's my student or wants to be my student comes to my school, we start the classes again on the week commencing the 11th of September. Let's go side to side. 11th of September, so all the live Zoom classes, like this, but proper classes, right? <laughs> they will be there, we'll be there from the 11th of September. So anybody who's had like a long break over summer from me, you wanna get back into class, 11th of September, okay? Slide those hips from side to side. Before, if you're brand new and you wanna learn, you're in the right place, okay? So keep shifting those hips from side to side for before. Three, two, all right, we're gonna work on some rotations to get us started. So look, I put my hands on my chest, I'm just gonna show you first. We're gonna bring our legs together and we're gonna rotate like this. So, let's start with our legs wide actually, so you wanna stand what we're doing. So we'll take our legs about shoulder distance apart, okay? And what you're gonna do is you're just gonna, hands on your chest, I'm gonna move my hands out the way for a second so you can see, and you're just gonna rotate from your waist up to your shoulders. So shoulders to waist, waist to shoulders, and you're just gonna rotate from one side to the other. Now my knees are soft. You might find all sorts of clicking and cracking and clack cracking and clacking and popping. <laughs> it's okay, don't panic, okay? It's like going to see the chiropractor without seeing the chiropractor, like clicking yourself into place, right? So we're gonna just rotate again. Now what you should do is try to keep the hips still. Don't let your hips go with you, okay? All right, and don't let your head go with you. Okay, you're trying to keep everything facing the front and you're twisting from your waist to your shoulders. Okay, this is a really good workout as well, if you haven't noticed by now. If you're brand new to me, welcome, hi. <laughs> if you're my students, get your extra practice in. And if you're brand new, just come and have some fun. Okay, so then we're gonna go back to this. Rotating and twisting, rotating and twisting for four, three, Weekly belly dance workout with me. Belly dance style. <laughs> Learn some moves while we're at it. Okay, now we're gonna go to what I call ribcage slides. So this is your ribcage slide, okay? What, what does it mean? Well, it means your ribcage is sliding from right to left and left to right. 
Okay, we want to try and keep the hips still. So it's not as easy as it looks, right? And at the same time, get your chest up, get your shoulders down, and get your neck nice and long, okay? And you're going to keep shifting. You want to imagine your chest or your ribs is going to touch this wall, and then this wall, and then this wall, and then this wall. Okay, at the same time, tummy is engaged. Okay, so your belly is like a, I call these tummy pops, right? Engage your belly a little bit, and you're going to shift from one side to the other. Keep your chest up, keep the shoulders down. Hi to everybody who's continuing to join. Hi, 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 hi. <laughs> okay, and slide it. All right, then what we're going to do now is we're going to take it into a uh, twisting one, right? So look, I'm going to get my chest. sliding on a diagonal line, right? My chest is going to the front corner, back corner, front corner, back corner. Engage the belly softly. This is really good for your back muscles, your tummy muscles, your massaging your internal organs as well. So you're doing great things for your insides. Four. Now if you're struggling, you're like, oh my God, this looks so easy. Why is it so hard? It's normal, it's normal. Then you're gonna rotate it back to the middle. Then you're gonna change sides again, okay? So now, now, my hips are forward, my head is forward, and now my chest, with my arms out, look, my chest is following the same line as my arms. Yeah, so I'm not, I'm not here, but I'm here, you see? So my chest goes to the front corner, slides to the back corner. No slouching, no slouching, <laughs> no slouching, okay? So you wanna try to keep those, those slides moving on a diagonal line, from one, one to the other. And if you're live and it's possible, you wanna, you wanna make this even more weekly and like that, make sure we have loads of fun. Make sure you share the video, share it to your timeline or whatever. Let's build this like community and I can keep this going for you, okay? All right, so now we're gonna go. Let's do, let's do eight to the side. So one, two, by now you should be really feeling it. Five, six, Seven, eight, pick a side, doesn't matter which side. Now let's go, eight. Trying your best to control yourself, aren't you, right? You don't want, you want to keep your hips still and your head looking forward. Come back into the middle. Go again, side to side. So today is all about chest isolations. This is, you could consider these as chest isolations already, but this is a preparation. Twist it for me. Preparation for the move I'm going to teach you in a minute. Okay, so. We're sliding forward and back, forward and back. What do I say, those of you when you come to my classes? What does this mean? This means space <laughs> and grace, okay? Space and grace. Keep a nice long neck, nice long neck. Thank you for the rose. <laughs> Appreciate it. So slide it. All right, now look. Let's make a figure of eight with our hips. And then what we're gonna try to do is we're gonna try to, Mom, I'm happy you're here as well. Whoop, whoop. <laughs> we're gonna try to make the same shape with your chest. Doing with your chest is harder, it's harder. So let's try with the hips first. So, soften your knees, feet flat on the floor. Don't you, if you can't see, my feet are about shoulder distance apart, my feet are flat on the floor. I'm gonna do the same thing with my hips now. I'm gonna twist my hips forward and back. So, Bring the hip towards your belly button, bring the hip towards your belly button. Forward, forward, forward. And you're trying to keep your chest facing directly forward. Don't let your whole body go, because belly dance is all about isolations, right? So it's not that like it's wrong, but you're not gonna get as good isolation if you let your whole body go. You're trying to isolate. Key word, isolate, okay? Chest up, shoulders down. Option one, if you're brand new, this is already going to be like, whoa, okay, so just, just do this. If you're already a belly dancer, or you've got experience, you can put a shimmy on top. What am I doing? I'm doing what's called a vibration shimmy. And you're just getting everything to be nice and loose and nice and free. So option one, you're just going to do your twist. And option two, if you want to give it a go, try to shimmy and twist those hips at the same time. And I'm trying to keep my chest forward. I'm trying not to let my whole body go. 
and you're trying to keep everything nice and relaxed. Nice and relaxed thighs, nice and relaxed bum cheeks, <laughs> nice and relaxed legs. Because if you're too tense, she be impossible. Impossible. So you're going to try to relax. Eight. And also, you don't have to go this fast. You can go slower than me, okay? For four, three, two. All right, let's make a figure of eight. Relax first. I go to the front corner. And I'm going to take my hip around the back. My hip goes to the back corner. Glide it forward, front corner. Glide it around the back, back corner. Front corner, back corner. So if you have pens on your hips, poising at the floor, what are you doing? You're making a figure of eight on the floor around your feet, that's what you're doing, okay? <laughs> so, now enjoy it. There's not really a wrong way to do this, so I just want you to find your own way of doing a figure of eight, make it feel really nice in your body, as nice as you can. I don't want you worrying about what's right and what's wrong, I just want you to move and explore the movement and make it just feel nice, okay? So, belly dance is very healing, very healing for the body and the mind, so. We just move and we enjoy the way the movement feels inside our body. We don't try to be perfect or anything like that. We just want to enjoy the movement, basically. Now four, now option one. Option one, just a figure of eight. If you have more experience, get your shimmy going. Same thing, and try to do your figure of eight with your shimmy. Oh, oh. Come on. Option one, just a figure of eight. Just a figure of eight. Option two, should I? I have to give you options, right? Because some of you have done some before. Some of you are my students. Some of you have never done it. And some of you are like, whoa, what's going on? Hey. <laughs> so, <laughs> pick your option. Option one, just a figure of eight. Option two, should I? For four. Four, three. Enjoy it. Again, don't worry about what's right or wrong. Worry about it feeling nice. Okay? Four, three, two. Hey! Okay, let's go into the figure of eight with the chest. We'll try and alternate, okay? But now, if I say to you, you're gonna do this motion with your chest, what are you gonna do? Okay, 10 seconds to give it a go. 10 seconds to give it a go, you ready? You ready, I'm on two screens at the same time, so I'm here, here, hey, hey. <laughs> okay, go, 10, nine, try it. Make a figure of eight with your chest. What we just did with our hips, but now with your chest. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. That's what we're gonna do. Hook, sick, soften those knees, feet flat on the floor. Let's go real slow fast. Twist. Slide your chest to the front corner. Uh oh, uh oh. Where are you gonna go next? It's a figure of eight. Where are you gonna go? Back. Back. Chest to the back corner. And you're gonna go forward, 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 front corner. And then towards the back corner. It might help you to imagine pens on your chest and that you're drawing. Figure of eight. On the floor, right your feet, through your chest. Front, side, front, side. All right, see knees to the floor. Now notice it's a little bit easier if I let my weights go with me. So when I'm on this side, my weight's on this leg, front corner, back corner, shift. Weight on this leg, front corner, back corner. And you're gonna try to move your ribs more than your hips. Otherwise, you're just doing a figure of eight with the hips, right? But I want you to do figure of eight with your ribs. So if you're finding all sorts of clicking and pumping and cracking, it's all right, it's all right. <laughs> okay, so, go. Great. Right. I say it's like going to the chiropractor. You know when they click you and they like crack your spine, and they crack your neck and stuff? It's the same thing. But you're doing it with, in belly dance movements. So you're doing it for yourself with natural healing movement, basically. All right, so we go. Forward, around the back. Forward, long neck. Forward, around the back. Forward, around the back. Whee! Forward, around the back. Forward, around the back. Okay, should we try and alternate between the hips and the chest? Yes, yes, let's do it, okay? 
my feet are shoulder distance apart. Let's move the hips. Doesn't matter where you start. Just try to make a figure of eight. Five, six, seven. And now turn it to the figure of eight with the chest, ribs. Make sure there's a difference, right? You want there to be a difference. You don't want it to all look like you're doing chest figure of eights. You don't want it to all look like you're doing hip figure of eights. You want there to be a difference between when you do the hips. It's a work in progress. If you're brand new, you're like, whoa, you're asking me far too much of me, Melissa. You're asking far too much. That's okay, that's okay. Okay? <laughs> and then ribs. It gets easier the more you practice. Remember that. You have a body, use it. Use it, move with it, dance with it. Everything is always awkward to begin with until it's not. How long does that take? Who knows? <laughs> you have to like access your body, right? Your own body. Let's go to hip support. Okay. So now for the next minute, I'm gonna do it with you. But for the next minute, what I want you to do is I would like you to. <laughs> yeah, I do have a midline. Can you tell? Am I talking that badly? <laughs> Yeah, I have Invisalign in and I'm, at the moment I'm struggling to talk. You are correct. <laughs> All right, so here's your challenge, right? I love Invisalign, it's amazing. Amazing, 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 right? What I want you to do is for one minute, you are in charge of when you change. So you're in charge of when you do chest figure of eights and you're in charge of when you turn it into the hip figure of eight. But your challenge is to try not to stop moving. <laughs> Are you on the retainer? Okay, yeah. So I'm on, I'm on my uh, Invisalign. What number am I on? I've got two left of my current, of my current like um, cycle. But then they, the dentist says to me they want to make them even more straight. So I'm really happy about that. So I have to go and have like refined. So I have another scan another scan of my teeth and then they'll make me some refinements to make them even straighter so so yeah so I'm, at the moment i'm really happy <laughs> it's so cool you notice maybe it's because i'm not talking properly yeah okay so let's go a couple more seconds finger with eight with the hips and then when you're ready see if you can alternate from hips to ribs and then when you're ready, you go. Your challenge is to try not to stop in between, right? Whee! Make sure it's your hips moving. And then make sure it's your ribs moving. Ribs. And then hips. Ribs. And then hips. Ribs. And then when you're ready, do hips. Woo -hoo, woo -hoo, woo -hoo. For four. For three. So listen. When you're learning to belly dance, and even like when it's like, because I, I understand, I'm, I'm very aware that when you're first learning to belly dance, like often everything else is happening except for the thing that you're trying to make happen, yeah? So it's normal. But what I want you to know is even if you're struggling and it's not the exact thing that I'm teaching you, you're on your path, you're on the journey. And that in that in that process, you're still learning like really valuable things and you're still doing really amazing things for your body. So just remember that, okay? So when you're like, oh my God, it's really hard, it's really, really hard. One, it's kind of supposed to be, even on a beginner's level, right? But the process that you're going through to learn it is the most important part. So don't worry about what it looks like right now. Worry about how it feels as you're moving and eventually it will all start to kind of fall into place, okay? So here's the thing. Option one, you just can, if you're like, I don't want to sit down for whatever reasons, <laughs> that's fine. You can totally stay standing and just work on the chest figure of eight standing, okay? And I'm gonna go and sit on the floor. But you totally, my Swiss ball, imagine, <laughs> imagine if you want, you can sit on a chair or your bed or your sofa or something. I personally prefer to sit on the floor. I find it like, I just prefer it. So I'm gonna come down. And if you wanna come and join me on the floor, you can. Okay, then we're gonna do the same thing. So you might find it one, easier to do but two harder to do all at the same time because when you're sitting you can't use your legs so now i want you to imagine i'll put the music back up in a second but what i want you to imagine is that your bum cheeks each bum cheek now has become your feet okay so instead of standing on your feet you're not for support you're on your uh, bum cheeks for support okay so if i show you from here 
And sit how you want. So chair, uh, whatever you want to sit on, sit. If you want to stay standing, just stay standing and do it again. We're going to go through it one more time. And I find sitting on the floor way um, uh, more isolated than standing because you, you have to, you can only move from a certain place when you're sitting on the floor because you can't rely on your legs, okay? So let's try it. And if it's too much anytime, then you can just stand up again instead. How about that? Deal. 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 All right, let's go. Let's do it all over again. If you're standing, just stand and do it. Rip cage slide from one side to the other. Would you imagine you're touching the side walls with your ribs? Now, where, where's your chest? Where is it? I mean, obviously it's here. <laughs> but you want to push your chest upwards and keep it there, shoulders downwards as you go, right? That's kind of what you're trying to do, yeah? So you go from one side to the other. From one side to the other. Okay, the moment it's okay if your head's going with you. A true isolation would be like this. But we're gonna make it quite big, so it's okay. Especially if you're a beginner, it's okay for the moment to let your head go from side to side. If you're brand new, you wanna come and dance with me, probably come find me. If you want to come find me. My classes start online from September. In a few days. <laughs> All right, okay, we're gonna hug and then you're gonna round your back and just relax, okay? So wherever you are, sitting, standing, just give yourself a hug and then really round the back so you're kind of stretching your back out. Now let's do the diagonal ribcage slide, right? So I'm gonna come back up and now we're gonna twist. I should just do a twist, rotation. So put my hand on my chest, I'm rotating, I'm rotating and twisting from one side to the other, right? There you go. And so remember what I said at the beginning of class, if you were late, don't worry, it's all good. You want your ribs, ribs to shoulders is what's rotating. Okay, try to keep your head forward. Try not to rotate like this, okay? Try to keep it like this, all right? As tall as you can, no slouching, get up, <laughs> okay? So it's really like good posture work because you're working more of the muscles that kind of are like your scaffolding, like kind of what holds you up and gives you your form, so to speak. Those are the muscles we're working with. All right, so we're working. All right, now let's, now we can do a diagonal. So we're gonna twist, and now you're gonna go front corner of the room, back corner of the room. I can use my hand as a guide, so I'm not going this way. I'm going front corner, back corner, front corner, back corner, front corner, back corner, right? Front corner, back corner. If your muscles are really aching, don't panic, it's a good thing. <laughs> you're working your muscles, right? So if your back is like, oh my God, that's normal, okay? All right, come back into the center. All right. So your back's a really big deal. Your back muscles, we, we, it's called belly dance, but actually you're using your whole body when we're dancing. It's like, the belly's like a small percentage of it, <laughs> okay? Then we're gonna try and rotate the other way, so I twist. And now if I put my arms out, you're following your front corner and your back corner. Your front corner and your back corner. Front corner and back corner. So, you're like on a diagonal. And you're gonna feel all sorts of things happening, all sorts. <laughs> all right, let's go ahead and hug again. Big massive hug, round the back. When I say round the back, I'm like really like slouching to stretch my back out, okay? For four. For three. All right, we're gonna try the figure of eight, yeah? So up, so I love training on the floor. It's just a way of like getting deeper into your isolation, right? So I'm going, let's, let's twist first, front corner, and then take it around the back, and then shift front corner, around the back, front corner, okay, let's go. Front, go at your own pace. And if it helps you, you can imagine that you, again, Pens on your ribs or your chest pointing to the floor. And now you're trying to do a figure of eight around your hips. Okay. So this is like really good massage work for your insides. It's also kind of, you're gliding a lot through. With belly dance, you're learning how to really glide through the muscles. It's called differentiation, I believe, where the muscles glide. So it's lubricating like your muscles is what, get, what helps you to be fluid like really fluid and mobile and supple and agile and all that good stuff. 
is to do with making sure that you're, mo you're moist on the inside and that's to do with like fascia and all sorts of other stuff, right? If you're interested, look it up, fascia, what's fascia? Anyway, so you're gliding through your muscles and your tissues. So sometimes like these movements feel really good if you feel really stuck and really stiff. Persevering with it kind of loosens up your muscles and your tissues. Four, three, we're coming towards the end of class now. So what I want to do is I want to work on some seated like diving undulation work with you. So if you're standing, I'll stand for a second. If you're standing, what you're going to do is you're just going to have your hands on your thighs and you're going to do massive undulation like so, okay? Really big. That is harder, so that's going to be more of a workout standing, okay? Otherwise, if you're on the floor, it's going to be more of a relaxing, more relaxing. You can do this if you're on a chair as well. So, for example, if I was on a chair or the bed or the sofa, I'll show you a couple of variations, okay? So if you're sitting, you can do this way. Yep. Like this, right? Otherwise, if you're on the floor, <laughs> we're gonna do it on the floor, right? Okay. So I'm gonna cross my leg, let's go. Alright, so rock back. Keep the front of the head holding up. Bring it back. Rock back. If you're not following yet, hit follow. Stay up to date so you don't miss a class. Next one's next week. We do we do different things every week, right? And go forward. And pull back. Rock back. Alright. So we're gonna work it all the way through now. Twice. Short, short, short version of everything just to wrap up class, okay? So as long as you can, whether you're standing or whether you're seated, move your ribs. If you just joined, you can do this standing instead if you prefer. Four. Three, two, one, rotations. Tall as you can, tall as you can. Four, three, two, one. And then we're gonna go into our side diagonals. One. Okay, you go from one side to the other. So this is your diagonal slide. Back into the center. This is your flat horizontal slide. And if I rotate, my slide is front corner, back corner, front corner. Four, three, back into the center. Make a finger of eight, front, around the back, front, and around the back. Try to stay tall as you do it. Try not to slouch as you do it, right? For four, try to, if you're sitting, try to relax your legs. Don't let them get all tense, right? Try to relax your legs as much as you can. Three, two, one, and then we're going to do our dive. Pull it up. Whether you're sitting on a chair or standing, standing is going to be more of a workout. <laughs> sitting is more relaxing. It depends on your circumstances, right? All right, last round, and then we'll stretch. Okay? So, as tall as you can. Slide. So side wall to side wall, my hands are showing you my direction of my ribs. I'm going side wall to side wall to side wall to side wall. Let's do rotations. Sit as tall as you can. Twisting and rotating, twisting and rotating for four, for three, for two, for one. And then we're gonna go. Side wall, if you're on your diagonal, four, three, two, center, four, three, tall as you can, tall as you can, tall as you can, change your back, my back is really working, I can really feel it, so if you're not feeling it, what are you doing, you're just standing on the screen, <laughs> three, alright, let's go, make a bigger leg, run around the back, run around the back, try to visualize the bigger leg, try to really visualize it as much as you can, for four, for three, for two, and last time dive. Okay, so we're diving. Four, three, two more. Last one. <laughs> All right. If you're standing, forward fold. If you're sitting, like me, legs out 
out in front and just stretch. Don't force it though, okay? So what will happen is you'll naturally go lower in a minute. If you're standing, this one will be fine. Yeah. Otherwise, they're in front of you. And we're going to go. Now, hold on. So we're just going to breathe. Right now, the way I like to stretch for development stretches for flexibility and stuff like that, I don't want you to force your stretch. Okay? So even if you can go really low, I want you just to go where you naturally land. Where do you naturally land? Okay? So you're going to stay there for a little bit. For four, three, two. Take a big inhale and exhale. Then you should go a bit lower. Naturally. I'm not forcing it. I just went. Okay, you're going to sit there a bit longer. Eight. Seven, relax into it. So you're not forcing anything. Don't want to create tension in my method, method at least. You don't want to create tension. You want to be relaxed. One more time, inhale. Exhale, see if your body gives a little bit more. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. There we have it. <laughs> there we have it, right? So that was our class, our bite-sized belly dance class of the week. So happy to have you. I'm glad you enjoy uh, you were here. I hope you enjoyed yourselves. And I look forward to seeing you next week for more, okay? More, 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 more. Woo -hoo! <laughs> All right, so I shall see you later. If you've got any questions, um, you can put a comment in the comment and I'll read it afterwards and come and check it all out, okay? So Thank you so much. And if you missed it and you've no idea what you missed, what you missed was bite size belly dance class with me. Every week we do it. Every week. So if you want to learn some belly dance, <laughs> then you can. Then you can come and join and you can join me every single week. Okay? <laughs> okay, alright then. So I think I think you are did you like I recognize your name. I think maybe you asked me last week. So flutters. Flutters is a shimmy. Oh, you keep missing the start. Oh, that sucks. <laughs> Set your reminder. Actually, to be honest, I'm not hitting it exactly the same time every week. That's probably part of it, right? But anyway, it will usually be around about this time. I say this time about quarter between quarter past seven and quarter to eight. It's just the sort of time I've been hitting at the moment. So that's when I'm going to be joining. Um, but if you hit the follow, if you're not already following me, then you should, I'm told, you should get the notification when I go live. Well, as long as you're not, it depends if you glue to your phone or not, right? You might miss it still. So, Shirley, I'd love to have you from the beginning next time, if possible. <laughs> okay, so yes, flutters. Flutters are your diaphragm. I should be from a diaphragm. Do you know what your diaphragm is? It's like a parachute-shaped muscle up here somewhere, Yeah. And then when, as a belly dancer, you, you, you shimmy with it, yeah? So my, I always seem to get the wrong lighting to show this because the angle is really important for you to be able to really pick, appreciate it. But a flutter. That's a flutter. You can do it in many, many, many ways. <laughs> but anyway, that's enough. So thank you so much. Um, and I will see you next week. For those of you who are want to have more fun with me, I'll see you next week. So stay tuned. Mwah.